Do you have a great story swirling around in your head that you wish you could share with the world, but you've convinced yourself that you would never be able to write it yourself? Well, join the club. As the intro implies, I had the story ideas in my head, but absolutely no idea how to get them on the page, much less onto the big screen. As I started my research about screenwriting, one thing I learned immediately was, isn't it absolutely friggin' amazing how much you can learn from YouTube? Rule number one, write what you know. I do know a lot of things, but it ain't all pretty. I've lived with clinical depression and suicidal thoughts and addiction and PTSD from a traumatic childhood. And it took decades for me to embrace those things as experiences I could use in my stories. But it hasn't all been a life of doom and gloom. Okay, you get the point. I bought everything I could get my hands on about screenwriting. I bought Final Draft software and I watched a thousand YouTube videos. I wrote a rough outline for a two-hour movie with a story I thought I wanted to tell. I learned industry standard formatting. And I started writing. And writing. And after several months of dedicating what seemed like endless hours of creating and writing and rewriting and rewriting some more, stopping everything to scribble down thoughts as they popped into my head so as not to forget anything. Trying desperately to keep up appearances at work. and trying not to be insufferable by asking my friends and family to read the damn thing over and over with each rewrite. Apologies and heartfelt thanks all rolled into one, you know who you are. Let's take a brief pause right here. Let's just say, if I knew then what I know now, I would have saved a fortune by being more selective in choosing analysts, consultants, and competitions, if only I had been more savvy when it came to screenplay contests. <laughs> Rule number two. 
but I digress. And so, the moment finally arrived. In my infinite wisdom, I decided it was time to enter the screenwriting competition arena. I had received feedback from countless screenwriting analysts and paid consultants on things like structure, grammar, tone, pacing, etc. So the script was ready at last, right? What, what could, could possibly, possibly go wrong? <laughs> Shut up! For what I spent on competitions, I could have purchased a ticket to Rocky Point, Mexico, and drank silver agave Cadillac margaritas on the beach for the rest of my days. But that wasn't me, so I pressed on. It became a bit of an obsession to get this screenplay to a place where it didn't suck. If I could do well in just one contest, perhaps that would be all I needed to prove to myself that all the time money and effort were worth it. Eventually, with each analyst's feedback and with each rewrite and sheer determination, the script did, in fact, improve, until finally. But that's not the end of the story. In 2022, I was asked to send along a poster with my script for a contest called Color Tape International in Brisbane, Australia. I had never heard of having a poster for an unproduced screenplay, but before long there was a second request for a poster from another contest. Never one to shy away from turning a simple task into a huge, inexpensive project. I immediately set out to find a model, a director, and a photographer to create what would end up being a picture of some dude I took with my android. Damn, I really love my android. 